Welcome back to another episode of the CWT Business Audio Show. I'm trying to start a business, and I podcast that journey, basically. And in this episode, I actually have a pretty cool thing to talk about. I So I run a finance blog called financebycwt.com. That's the current business that I'm working on, the current business that I'm trying to grow. You know, I have a lot of different ways to grow it, which I talk about on this podcast. But on this episode in particular, I want to talk about revenue. So, you know, my company kind of makes revenue on, you know, many different ways. So, first of all, when you started this podcast, you probably saw an ad. You know, ads are a big way that we currently make money. Like, the actual blog itself has ads on it. The podcasts have ads on it. And that's the main way that we've always made revenue. And the thing is with that, you know, you have to have a lot of actual traffic for that to matter. Like, because all of our you know, blogs and is monetized by the Google AdSense program. And that takes a lot of attention to actually produce revenue. So like on the blog, I actually looked, in order to make, you know, if you're trying to make $50,000 a year on revenue, you need 200,000 viewers on the blog every month, which is quite a bit to get. And, you know, that's one thing that we have for money. On the podcast, a little bit different. So on the podcast, every time someone listens to an ad, I basically make a cent. So if you listen to the ad at the start of this podcast, I made a penny, which is pretty cool, but also, you know, not that much. So I was looking at that and I was trying to think of how, you know, the blog could make more money. And, you know, one of the ways that I've always used is affiliate marketing. So, you know, because I talk about stocks, I also do a lot of investing myself. Like I have a lot of different investing apps. And most of the apps I use have a referral program. So, for instance, you know, SoFi. I use SoFi to invest, and they have a referral program. So every time someone, you know, starts investing with SoFi through my link, you know, I get a certain amount of money for that. And so do they, which is pretty cool. You know, same thing with Acorns. I use it as a robo-investor. So Acorns invests all the money for me, and I have that on there. You know, I use it, and every time someone signs up through my link on that, I make money. And also with SoFi, you know, they have credit cards, bank accounts, stuff like that. And those are other ways people can sign up and I can make money. And I think that that is pretty interesting. So, you know, with that, when I actually make the blog post, I can put, you know, those referral links on there and then I can make money from that. So, you know, if I have, you know, 100 people read my blog post, and one of them decides to, you know, sign up with SoFi, you know, one of their accounts just signs up with Acorns, you know, that blog post has made revenue from that. And that's really cool. Like, that's awesome. But the question I always have when I actually make the blog post is, you know, which referral link do I put in there? Because the last thing I want to do is jam my blog up with so many ads that it's become unreadable. You know, that's not what I want at all. I want I want people to go on my blog and have the easiest time in the world reading it. I believe you should never make it difficult for someone to consume your content. And I don't want to do that. So with that in mind, you know, I, w- I don't want to just jam the blog post full with ads. I'm not going to put a ref- every single referral link I have on there. I want to do one link max, and I want to be at the bottom of the article. So the only time anyone ever receives my fer- referral links is if they get to the absolute end of the blog post. And then I'll put a referral link, like one that'll help. You know, a lot of times if I'm blogging about stocks, then I'll put, you know, my SoFi investing app referral link because if people are interested in stocks, they're probably interested in buying stocks and if they're buying stocks, they need a way to do that. So, you know, I might put it there. You know, I might, if I'm talking about just like passively investing, I might put an Acorns referral link. If I'm talking about, you know, building a credit card, I might put a SoFi credit card referral link. And you know, that's one of the things I've been doing to make money. But again, it's difficult because what if someone's reading my blog post on stocks and they already have an investing app, but they don't have a credit card or they do have a credit card, but they really want another one. You know, what if they're you know reading my blog post on passively investing and they're doing that and they already have a way for that, but they also want to actively invest and they want an app from that. So that's always been my dilemma. I've never could figure out which referrals I should actually be pushing. And, you know, I've done different tests, like I've done different referrals. I've tried to see, you know, which one actually matters the most, like which one actually 
is bringing in the most like which one my audience is actually responding to the best but again it's just difficult so while trying to figure out something to do with that it reminded me of a something that I had started a long time ago so when I was in college one of my assignments was to build a business so what I did is I built an affiliate store I found a bunch of different businesses that were offering you know affiliate links that I could sell for I compiled a list of those I created a web page where I sponsored each of those, and that was the business that I created. And I thought I could do something similar, but for Finance by CWC. So what I did was I developed a web page that when you click on the web page, you see all of my referral links. So you know all the businesses out there that I use that I can actually you know give referrals to and make money off of that, and. You know, not, not just all the businesses in general, but all the businesses related to finance. I blog about finance. I use a lot of finance products that help me. And I figured other people might want them too. So I compiled a web page for those. And I'm very excited about that. And I basically called it CWT Affiliates is the actual like web page. So now I have one link. And at the end of each article, you know, at the end of this podcast, the episodes that I make, my goal is to basically... Basically say something like, so, you know, I'm partnered with a lot of different, you know, affiliate sites in finance. You know, they're all offering, you know, very nice incentives for you to be a part of it. Click the link in the description below or on the blog at the end of the blog. I'd be like, click the link below and check out the affiliates and see if there's something that'll benefit you. And my goal with that is that one, I don't think it'll hurt the actual content because if you're not interested in doing that, you know, you don't have to. You click off the blog post. That's the end of it. Or you go read another blog post. You know, I don't think it's going to hurt the actual content at all. But if someone's out there and they're like, yeah, I actually would be interested in finance-related products, I wonder if they have anything that would help me. They can just click the link, see the products, see if there's something that benefit them. If something does, you know, they can click it, sign up for it, and, you know, that'll be another way that I make revenue. And I thought it was also cool because I can also, you know, with this affiliate page, you know, I can run ads just for the affiliate page. There's nothing to do with the content itself, but I can put an ad for, you know, a affiliate page for finance related products. I can make, you know, TikToks and Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts advertising these products. And that I think would be cool because I can literally make a TikTok, you know, for the SoFi credit card talking about how awesome it is or how I found that it's helped me. And if someone's interested, they can click it or they can click it, sign up for the credit card, get a nice incentive for themselves. Because some of my credit cards are offering like $50 for everyone who signs up. It's pretty cool. But they can get a pretty nice incentive for that. And I can also get paid for bringing it to them to begin with. So I'm really excited about the launch of that. I think that that could actually you know, bring in a good amount of revenue for Finance by CWT. Because I actually... So at the end of the year last year, 2022, I went on Excel and I typed in you know, how much revenue this podcast made. I typed in how much revenue the blog made. You know, I typed in how much revenue, you know, other media sites that I own made. You know, how much revenue I made from referrals. And I compiled the list and I added it up. So I looked at the total amount of money that my company had made last year. And this year, the main thing that I want to do is beat that. Well, not the main thing. That's the second thing I want to do. The main thing I want to do is create even better content than I did last year. And reach more audience than I did last year. Which in turn, will work hand-in-hand hand with the second goal, which is making more revenue than last year. So I looked at that number, and I was thinking, well, I do think I could beat it just from what I'm doing now, you know, just from, you know, the referral links I have in there already, just from, you know, the Google AdSense program, just from, you know, the Anchor Ads program. While I do think that I can beat the amount of revenue that I did last year, it'll definitely be a lot easier if I create an entire new revenue stream. And the app that I'm using to make this web page, you know, I can see how much traffic that I'm actually getting just to that. And since that link is not one you'll really find organically, unfortunately, I wish it was, I don't know how to do that. But because it's not one that you're going to find organically, you're only going to find if you consume content that I make, I think that that will be very helpful. Because I can see, you know, how much traffic the blog got. I can see how much traffic the affiliate page got. I can see how many people are crossing over and actually going to the affiliate page. And with that in mind, I can see what I'm doing well. Like if, if I'm if 
you know, the copy that I'm using to get people to that affiliate link is working. If I need to do better, you know, I can basically figure out how to get more and more people to click that affiliate link. And if they do, well, things are a lot better. And I will, and I will figure that out. So I'm definitely excited. I have not put that affiliate link on any of the content that I've made yet. This podcast will be the first thing that I do that actually has that affiliate link down there. So what I'll be able to do, you know, tomorrow is go on that affiliate link, you know, look at the analytics of it, see how many people from the podcast actually went and clicked that link, which I'm excited to do. And that'll be awesome. And then I'm also going to make a blog post as soon as I finish, you know, this podcast, like literally the second I finish. And I'll also be able to see how many people from the blog went over and crossed over. And I can compare that and that'll be pretty exciting too. I can basically see, you know, just how many people are going to it. And I can see from those people that go to it, how many people actually sign up and then kind of see how much traffic I actually need in order to make that affiliate page absolutely profitable. And it's exciting because it doesn't cost anything to run the affiliate page either. You know, my blog does have a cost, like it costs, you know, money to run that blog. But the affiliate page, it doesn't cost anything for it. So I can see, you know, how, like, you, it's, it's easy to see how profitable that can really be. So I'm insanely excited for that revenue stream to actually start. I'm insanely excited to see it. I want to make this podcast because, you know, if I'm documenting my business journey, this could be actually very important for it. So thank you so much for listening to this podcast episode. If you're curious about if any of the affiliates will actually be something that benefits you, click the link in the description. Check it out. If there is one that will make your life better, then do it. If you don't see anything that make your life better, then don't. But at least check it out. But thank you so much for listening to this podcast episode. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.